About 40 miles from Salt Lake City and only five minutes from downtown Tooele is beautiful Settlement Canyon and the Utah Elks Association Camp Wapiti, a facility created for medically challenged children. The heart of the camp is the Kent Wheelwright Lodge, named for a Utah Elks member who spearheaded the early construction of many elements of the camp. The Utah Elks Association voted to undertake the construction of a special youth camping facility for medically challenged children, and construction began in 1991. The goal of the project was to provide an environment where children could enjoy a true camping experience, including recreational activities as well as obtaining the vital education information they needed in order to live longer, healthier, more productive lives. The main lodge has a full kitchen facilities and can serve a sit-down meal for 200 campers. On site is a medical dispensary with treatment and isolation rooms constructed by the Utah Lady of Elks Association and a large shower and bathhouse. All work on the camp and costs associated with it have been donated by the members and the lodges of the Utah Elks Association. And there are 17 sleeping cabins with electrical power only that sleep up to 12 children each. Each cabin was built by a Utah Elks Lodge and has appropriate names and designations. Camp Wapiti children come from Utah and five other western states. These children could not attend a traditional camp without the medical care and equipment to closely supervise and treat their condition. Also on site is a pavilion, horseshoe pit, volleyball court, activities area, arts and crafts building, hiking trails, a lake for fishing, a swimming pool, and a large playground for our younger campers. Camp Wapiti, or Camp Wapiti, depending on the pronunciation, is an American Indian name for elk. The camp currently serves clients from the American Diabetes Association, American Cancer Society, American Lung Association of Utah, the Utah Chapter of the National Hemophilia Foundation, the Royal Family Kids Camp for Abuse Children, the Healing Hearts Kids Camp for children with congenital heart conditions, with each camp providing 100% of their camp staff and medical support system. The Camp Wapiti Project has caught the attention of other charitable entities and now crosses many governmental, fraternal, civic, and charitable lines and is making a substantial difference in the lives of thousands of young people each year. Camp Hobie is located in beautiful Settlement Canyon, 30 miles west of Salt Lake City, Utah. The Camp Wapiti facility, built and maintained by the Utah Elks Organization, welcomes Camp Hobie and a host of other health-related camps throughout the summer. The Camp Wapiti site consists of 17 bunk cabins, shower and bath facilities, a large outdoor pavilion, and a main lodge. In addition, there's an on-site infirmary equipped with a pharmacy, two treatment rooms, two isolation areas, and staff sleeping areas. Recreational facilities include a heated swimming pool, volleyball court, large playing field, basketball court, arts and crafts cabin, outdoor pavilion, and an outdoor stage and fire pit. Camp activities are designed to stretch the limits and imagination of each camper. Supervised activities include swimming, softball, volleyball, archery, music, field games, arts and crafts, drama, nature awareness, scuba instruction, rock climbing, mountain biking, poetry writing, talent shows, specialized kids and teen week activities, and other festivities such as carnivals, performance groups, and music concerts. 
Every year, nearly 200 children spend a week in the mountains at Camp Hobie. These children take part in soccer clinics, pool games, campfire sing-alongs, and late night talks with new friends in cabin bunks. Although this picture portrays an experience that children all over America participate in throughout their lives, a closer look at Camp Hobie reveals that these campers are special. You know, unfortunately, in one way or another, I think we've all been affected by cancer, whether it's a friend or a family member, or maybe it's something you've dealt with yourself, we're all touched by this disease at some point in our lives. I think for children, it's particularly sad because there's such a loss of innocence. But once a year, there is a place for these young patients to go along with their siblings. It's called Camp Hobie, and we're going to take you there. These children fight a daily battle with cancer that is temporarily suspended when they spend a week of their fragile lives in the fun, worry-free environment of a summer camp. Throughout their week at camp, these children grow in spirit, strength, and understanding. They're allowed to play outside with other children, discover the joy and freedom of being away from the confines of the hospital, and momentarily displace their concerns of living with cancer. Camp Hobie is their chance, sometimes their only chance, to just be kids. When I first found out that I did have cancer myself, um, that I, I was just really scared, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what I had to go through, and at the time I didn't really know what cancer was. Camp Hobie's mission is to create an atmosphere that enhances each child's self-esteem, fosters their sense of independence, develops new friendships, and creates a feeling of belonging. Camp Hobie gives campers the unique opportunity to meet other children who live with the stresses and uncertainties experienced when a member of their family has cancer. The focus really is on the kids. The counselors here are so fantastic and treat them so well that this year dropping them off, I see other parents are going, aren't you nervous to drop them off? I'm, no, they're just gonna have so much fun and they love it. And so I wasn't at all nervous, but it's just nice to be able to have a setting that you're not having to worry about administering pills or you know, checking counts or, or any of the things that you normally have to do. Hobie is believed to be a Native American word for hope, a gift that we at Camp Hobie offer to children with cancer and their families. No one leaves Camp Hobie unchanged. Every camper, volunteer, parent, and donor walks away from Camp Hobie with a greater feeling of love, an uplifting sense of acceptance, and a wondrous and enhanced appreciation for the joys of life. These kids have treatments and doctor's appointments and, and the siblings kind of get taken to the back seat, you know. It's not that they're ignored, they just, you know, the other pressures come for so so they really look forward to coming to camp. All the children are mixed up with, with all of the, you know, siblings and kids with cancer and, and they're just able to bond and they know the terminology. They know that the kids are, you know, how how it affects the family, but they can all just be normal children and they're all important and the counselors treat them all the same and it was the most fabulous experience for our kids last year. Now you guys seem like friends. How do you know each other? Um, we met in the hospital. Yeah, when I got <laughs> diagnosed she was in the room next to me. She was in the room next to you. Wow, uh, both at Primary Children's Hospital? Okay. How, how scary was it when you, when you guys learned that you had cancer? What did you think? <laughs> I didn't... That's a hard question. When they told my mom and dad they're like, you have leukemia, I'm like, what? And then my mom and dad told me I had cancer and I started to cry, but before that I didn't know what it was. My mom first found out I had leukemia, she cried hard. The day camp, we just have four to seven year olds, and we do a lot of the same types of activities. We'll do arts and crafts, we'll do some field games, we'll do some story time activities with them, some little drama activities, but it's geared more towards kids their age. You know, instead of being an hour long activity with the four to seven year olds, we might do a 20 to 30 minute type activity because that's what they need and what we can do with them. To see the spunk and the spark and the fire and the not give up is is food for the soul. Many of the kids who don't get a chance to swim any other time during the summer come and get to get a chance to swim because with the medical staff on site all of their dressings can be changed and everything else that would inhibit them from swimming. 
In addition to therapeutic physical activities, Hobie campers are also given the chance to express their feelings and emotions at a remembering program known as Hobie Forever. And it just helps you remember all your friends. You can remember everyone who was here that left. And Camp Hobie makes it special for everyone who comes. It's all about the kids and everybody really gets into it. And you get to be goofy and wild and nobody, you know, nobody cares because it's making the kids laugh. The kids, are, they just have a lot of fun doing stuff. Um, also feel since Camp Hobie's been here for me, I should be here for Camp Hobie. And you still have that same fun, but it's a different fun. You're helping kids this time. I wanted to give a little bit back that I got from it. If it wasn't for the volunteers at Camp Hobie, and I know the other camps, Camp Hobie wouldn't happen. In addition, experienced medical staff are available 24 hours a day to take care of special needs and handle any emergencies that may arise. It makes my job so much nicer when I can see them like this, instead of being in a hospital bed and giving them chemotherapy and all that good stuff, huh? Attending Camp Hobie is an extraordinary opportunity for these children. It's an experience that provides the medicine of laughter, the ability to transcend limitations, and the critical support of understanding peers. Camp Hobie offers childhood cancer patients and their siblings the opportunity to experience a world that most of us take for granted, one that keeps their spirits alive and lives with them forever. They're all success stories, okay, well, every one of them, you know, even if it's their first or last time. They come up here and they're just incredible kids. And, um, you know, the great thing is, is most of them make it and do great. But even those kids that don't come up here and they have the most incredible time and it's really neat. It's just really neat. I think they're all success stories.